What is up guys, in today's video I'm going to be going over some tips to hopefully help you stop losing to Riot Shielders in Fortnite Chapter 5. As always, if you guys do enjoy this video, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more, and comment down below what you think of the Riot Shield being added to Chapter 5. Because for the most part, I, I've seen mostly negative comments about this being added. It seems like most players aren't happy to have it in the game, but that's what we're going to be talking about. Also, in the gameplay of this video, I'm going to try to have some moments where I fight Riot Shielders, especially doing some of the things I talk about during the video, but it's hard to just have like 8 to 10 minutes of gameplay of me just killing Riot Shielders because it's not something that I encounter like that frequently, you know? So, the first thing we're going to talk about is that you do not want to just get into a damage trade situation with the Riot Shielder. If you're just standing out in the open, maybe like, you know, 10 to 15 meters away from them, trying to shoot at them with your AR, and they're just like spraying you with their pistol, that is a fight that very heavily favors them because they have the riot shield to protect them, whereas you're just, you know, out in the open. So you do not want to just get into those damage trade situations with them. Unless you have them super weak, which is something we'll talk about later on, it's best to just treat it like how you would a fight versus anyone. Try to use cover as much as possible, and you want to fight them kind of at mid-range because the weapon they have, that pistol, they don't have perfect accuracy, they can't aim in or anything. So if you are able to fight them like 20, 25 meters away behind like a rock or a tree or some piece of cover, that is a fight that I think is much more likely to go in your favor than just standing out in the open fighting them. And for some reason, I've seen a lot of people just it's like they freeze and just you know stand out in the open and try to spray the riot shoulders feet that's not really the play to go for it in my opinion one thing that you can do though is if you spray the shield out enough you'll kind of like break their block and stun the person and you can actually do this pretty quickly with the striker ar i, I found that like just spraying the striker AR at the shield will break their block relatively quickly but again, this isn't something where you just want to stand out in the open and try to spray their block. You want to be doing this from behind cover as much as possible. And I think that's where a lot of people go wrong. You can shoot their toes or their hand. And I, I said some people go wrong by trying to spray the feet too much. And that's when, again, they, they kind of opt into that first situation where they're standing, you know, out in the open spraying the person's feet. That, that's likely not to go your way, but if you're kind of mid-range, you see the riot shoulder, they're kind of trying to push up on you, then sure, you could spray their feet and get some damage. I also have hit their hand when sniping at them and gotten damage that way, but that's, you know, with a sniper. I'm decently far away from them. It's not a situation where I am pressured by the riot shoulder much because most of their kind of... Uh, kill potential or the time where they're going to be most threatening to you is when they're pretty close to you but not super close to you but they want to like get up on you so you want to play like mid to long range as much as possible versus these shielders and it, all it takes is like a few toe shots and you breaking their block once and it's a free kill it's it kind of reminds me of the the lightsabers when we had those in the game the lightsaber player could block and you could spray their block out just fine and kill them but it wasn't something that you wanted to do if you were within melee range you know you kind of wanted to get like a somewhat decent distance between you and the lightsaber player and then spray their block out and kill them that way you didn't want to be like within their damage range and i feel like the riot shield is the same way as long as you're not standing directly out in the open trying to spray them with your ar uh, I think you should be fine and that is it's not really that difficult of an item to deal with it's just like a weird item and I think a lot of people just approach it completely wrong some other things that can help you deal with the riot shielders are going to be EMP grenades because these will break their shield if you throw it at them not the shield as in the thing they're holding to my knowledge but like you'll do shield damage to the player and that'll make it easier for you, you to eliminate them the cluster grenades work quite well and then also shockwaves can be good for you know multiple reasons if you're end game you could potentially shockwave the riot shielder into storm you could do this by throwing it at them or shockwaving yourself up and throwing it at them if they are super close to you you could shockwave yourself to like a side angle to potentially beam them or a different piece of cover if they do move up on you like let's say you're shooting them maybe getting a few feet uh, feet shots and then they get up on you you could shockwave to a different piece of cover and then just rinse and repeat that and like i said when they are trying to push up on you you could spray that block out and usually when anytime i've sprayed their block out it's been pretty much a free kill at that point but again you just you know can kind of keep backing up and repositioning uh over and over again if you do get close to them and I'm saying like very close, 
then you can just try to like jump with your shotgun or like sprint and slide to the side or behind them. Uh, just anything to allow you to get a different angle on that shield. This is something that I wouldn't want to do unless they're already very weak. Like if I have a riot shielder pushing up on me, let's just say over the course of the fight, I've hit them like 90 damage to their feet and then they get up on me, then I might just try to like, you know, eliminate them with my auto shotgun by either jumping and shooting down on them or kind of like sprinting and sliding to the side or sliding behind them to get shots on them and this does work a lot easier with the auto shotgun i think than the pump shotgun the pump shotgun would be a little harder for this but the shielder has a harder time with mobility i feel like and it's one of those things where like if you're the person making it happen it's kind of easier for you to like sprint to the slide to the side and get a side angle or sprint and jump whatever you can do to potentially get an angle on them and you can kill them pretty quickly like this but i i feel like this wouldn't be the uh, I like ideal thing to go for that was why I was saying you probably want to get damage on them first uh, and then go for this rather than trying to 250 to zero the shielder because I still think you could 250 to zero them if you do kind of like use your movement correctly to like sprint slide behind them or to the side of them or jump and shoot down on them I think you could 250 to zero them with your auto shotgun before they kill you with the pistol but it's probably not ideal and it is going to leave you somewhat vulnerable to third parties so that's why I was saying you probably only want to go for this play if you already have them weak and I feel like that will happen a decent amount of times because I've had situations where <clears throat> like I said someone pushes up on me and I've either broken their block and done damage to them or I've hit their toes a decent amount while they're pushing up on me or I've just had situations where like I snipe somebody and then I go to push them and then they pull off the shield while I'm pushing them but like I already hit a body snipe on them and done you know that 100 plus damage so at that point I'm down to just try to play off the auto shotgun play off my movement and get damage on them that way I feel like the <clears throat> kind of not ideal situations for the shield player is going to be when you're kind of like medium range behind cover or when you're in their face with a shotgun they don't like either of those situations but what like it's weird because like where the shielder thrives is probably like i don't know like 8 to 15 meters or so away spraying you with the pistol like they don't want to be quite medium long range but they don't want to be like quite super close range either because when you're very close to them it's easier to get behind them uh and then when you're long range obviously using cover you can just spray them so i i feel like those are the two things you want to do play mid-range and spray if they do get close to you and you already have them weak then you can kind of play off the shotgun and easily get the kill that way Cars can also be very good for this because not only is it a mobile piece of cover, but you can use it to like reposition when they get close to you. You can go behind your car, spray them. Maybe they get too close and you you aren't happy with the amount of damage you've done already. You can just get in the car and drive away and then like kind of rinse and repeat that over the course of the fight. They're probably going to end up getting in your car with you at some point, but that's also great for you because then they don't have the shield anymore and you can just shoot them while they're in the car. So I really don't think the riot shield is that great of an item it's just a different item and it's a weird item to kind of play against but i think as the season goes on and as people get more used to playing against it you can play that it's very easy to beat i think just weird sometimes and it's it's a weird weapon to get caught off guard with at times i think so i've also been told the grapple blade melee effect works quite well against shielders but i haven't really been able to test this myself because i typically carry shockwaves instead of the grapple blade but if you are someone that likes using the grapple blade allegedly the melee works quite well against shielders let me know down in the comments below and then also in team game modes i think it can be a bit more of a struggle because i think you probably want to focus the other players more than the shielders but also at the same time uh, like i already discussed you can break their block by spraying them out so if you and like two or three of your teammates just all spray the shielder at the same time their block is going to get broken very quickly and you're just going to eliminate that player because when you do break their block it kind of like exposes the person a bit and you're already shooting them so like several people doing that uh you're going to easily like beam and eliminate that player so I, I i think it can be a bit more difficult in team game modes but i think either way you know if you just ignore the shielder and focus their teammates then the people who are actually a threat get eliminated faster or if you just focus the shielder and you and your teammates kind of do it together you eliminate that shielder very quick and then that team is at a numbers disadvantage so i think either can work to be honest it just depends what you and your team want to do as long as y'all are on the same page and do the same thing uh i, I think you could take them out very easily so that is going to be it for this video. A short recap. The number one thing you want to avoid is just standing out in the open and spraying them. And you that might sound stupid. You might think that's obvious, but you would be surprised how often I see that happening. And like I think that's the 
main situation in which the shielders are like threatening. So if you have been losing to them, you're probably opting into that situation. Play cover as much as possible. Remember that you can spray their block out if you have like a fully loaded AR. Um, you can do a lot of damage very quickly to them just by spraying their block out provided you are behind cover and safe yourself. And if they do get super close to you and you have an auto shotgun, just try to jump and shoot down on them or slide to the side, either side of them or behind them. And you can get a lot of damage pretty quickly. As always, if you guys found this helpful, informative, interesting, remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more and comment down below letting me know what you think of the Riot Shield in Fortnite.